Another day, another reason to expose another suspect child predatorial platform like YouTube. You know I've gotten hip to you guys' game. Anytime you guys are representing yourselves as pro-child, you sign a bill into law in your company saying that you're trying to protect children, you're actually doing the opposite. I've already pointed out the shows that you guys are having on display on YouTube, like Bring It and Cuties and various multiple different other shows, putting children in a sense where they are hypersexualized. YouTube seems to be okay with it, and so are the people. The jig is up, American people. I already know what you guys are into. You guys love that type of content. That's why it has so many views and hits. That's why it's still an institution, despite us saying how bad it is. But you guys still are trying desperately to go after these children to support your own sexual, demonic needs. I know what you're about. And I know why YouTube has been censoring people who have been speaking out against that predatorial activity that you guys have been doing, especially whenever they point out that you're doing it on TikTok. TikTok just so happened to be one of those types of platforms where this is happening gradually. And all these liberals and conservatives, too, are backing it. Yep. Both of them. In fact, I wouldn't even just say both of these parties, but people in all sectors, even moderates. That's why TikTok exists as a huge platform, because you guys are backing it up. You might talk shit about it, but you are still there. I remember when I was there. I exposed it all, and they didn't like it. I got canceled to oblivion there. If you know what you're doing is to be the right thing, why haven't I been arrested yet or at least sued yet for defamation of character? And yet I'm still here. Haven't been sued, not once. Haven't been arrested, not once. But the people who are guilty of these crimes, if you notice, they always talked about the law, but they don't want to have any form of actual dealing with the law because they know what they're doing is wrong. So why haven't they called the law yet? And I had FBI threats called upon me. Where they at though? That's what let you know there's something deeper in meaning here. Almost as if it looks like a secret society of pedophiles in plain sight pretending that they care for kids. And they're not so secret if they're seen in plain sight. Let's go ahead and keep it real. And where are they getting these children to support their little sexual needs? The parents are selling them off. And they are typically going toward the families that have no fathers. That's why the mindset of a, of a turned out or broken and beaten or but broken man it's typically something that's getting targeted. The fatherless homes are easy, easily just easy targets. They are always going after these people. But the reason is why. Let me tell you why. Because the mothers, they're desperately trying to obtain funds just so she can get away of ends meet. Trying to make ends meet. And one of the best ways for her to obtain these funds is either sell herself or a child. Well, she obviously doesn't want to tarnish herself, so her child is always up for grabs. Why do you think there's a big abundance of women running around here getting themselves a, an abortion? 
And why do you think that there had to be a law where we had to say if a child is alive in your body, which obviously it is because you don't sit there and give life to something, they want to kill it just to suit your outside needs, your carnal needs. But these women are so sick that we had to actually had these law, these things passed here in Ohio and in Texas. These women are sick in both states or all over the country. Do you guys still want to give women positions of leadership? I'm going to say it again. Do you want to still give women positions of leadership despite seeing all the horrible decisions women do? Now, the worst woman on earth just so happened to be the black woman because she not only making dumb decisions on her part and uh, making these decisions, then pointing fingers and saying that it is the blame of racism that they are in the position that they're in, not really taking accountability or responsibility for their part of this of decision making. But these women time and time again, even throughout the biblical times of old, have been steadily, persistently evil. Now, some might say I'm having a moral argument whenever I'm talking about them being evil or not. How many times must you get hit over the head with the same baseball bat to realize that I'm being hit? And how about do something about it? You guys are irritating in this country. And this is why I will keep steadily saying that this is the weakest country on earth. Because it doesn't take someone who then puts themselves into the highest echelon of power. And they're so high that they fall by their own hand. <laughs> you got nothing to show for it. You remember whenever blacks used to call themselves the original kings and queens of earth? That they came first? You came first and ended up being the worst on earth. You were powerful and you still are powerful. And with that power, you have nothing to show for it. Yeah, that's you. You went from kings and queens to just a common day inner city nigga. Now, the only way for you to be a king is for you to flash around some jewelry and brand of clothing that you didn't make that someone else made and you bought it. And for black women to be a black women to be a queen and she's probably so in other forms, but this seems to be a form of notion that she would call herself a queen despite her being someone on ghetto gaggers or in porn being destroyed. I mean, absolutely dehumanized. She is not even a human anymore. Now, safe to say, I can't actually, actually argue if you're a human in the first place. There could be multiple different things that you have done in time that have put you into the category to be somewhat of a subhuman. Because in order for you to earn the rank of human, you're going to have to need to prove it. But I haven't seen you prove not one bit that you are deserving of that title. Not one. I don't care who the hell presents me of anything else. It's like people having free speech all in America. And not everybody, not everybody deserves free speech. Not everyone deserves to have a right to have a say so. And not everyone deserves this concept of freedom in general. Because with your freedoms, you're willing to do some stupid shit like fuck with someone and then want to victimize yourself whenever that someone defends themselves. Like the people that want to harass us on social media. Despite us saying, leave us the fuck alone. They will appear in the comment section and will stay in that comment section of a profile of a, per a person that they just don't like. Who the fuck does that other than a complete fucking weirdo? But they exist though, do they? 
knowing that we can fuck you up, you are still in this comment section acting as if we're just going to keep our cool as you proceed to talk the shit that you're talking. America doesn't have people or doesn't need to have everybody with the rights to free speech and it's specifically for that reason. Because without social media, half of these motherfuckers going to be looking at me with their head down, looking straight at my feet, talking about some what's good, bro. Y'all know I had I met half of uh, I said half. I've been a quarter of the people who um, was talking shit about me on TikTok in real time. Saw them in the market. And it was like, hey, I remember you. I, I love your content. This was the motherfucker who was talking shit, too, because I recognized him. And it took me a while to realize who the fuck I was talking to. And mind you, this was another black man. He had all that smoke and come to find out this motherfucker was a fan. They're always fans. The people that dislike you the most are always the people that want to try to be like you. And they hate it because you made it in that position and that they can make it. They're like, why you? Why couldn't it be me? Because you ain't put that effort in, nigga. But yeah, these people exist. But not to get too far off the topic, pedophilia exists and people of America and everywhere else have been funding it. And it will not go away up until the people of this country stops funding it. Of a very great nation, how did the hell this nation go from the heart of God to the throne of Satan? I don't know. But you guys used to be pro-Bible all day, every day. You go to church, you want to praise praise God, you want to preach the word, and you want to show everybody how good this word is just so everyone could clean up their life. In God we trust, God bless America, our home sweet home, all of a sudden this place have decided to take down the church, take down the 13 commandments to erect the church of Satan in a predominantly black neighborhood. And guess what black said? Because I'm thinking whenever I was smaller, I have never seen a so-called satanic black man or woman before and then i grow up and realize how wrong the fuck i was there are all forms of satanic black people online and i'm glad the internet exists for that notion because it lets me know what the fuck i'm dealing with whenever i'm talking to half of you that's the reason why i don't really take you guys seriously whenever i get comments on any of my videos where i get so-called supporters you don't support me you don't support what the hell i'm saying or what the hell i'm doing because look at the state of your country if your country, if you truly were supportive of the things I'm saying, your country wouldn't be looking like shit as much as it is right now. But it does. It does. Blame yourselves. <laughs>